I'm still looking into that March 22nd alignment type deal that some people are starting to worry about. I'm not finding the conditions to be equal to that of March 11th of last year. Remember we had sun activity, CME, and we had a, a lunar phase going on at that time. We had some variables working then that I don't see now. I'm not saying blow it off March 22nd and don't worry about it, but I'm also not saying something big on March 22nd. I'm saying I'm showing you all the different models that I can to show you these alignments and tell you what I see. Now this is eyes on the solar system, the NASA system, and you can see there's a sun and there's the Earth and Mercury. Now, Uranus is back there, but Uranus looks like it's it looks like if you took a straight line it wouldn't hit a, a alignment with everything. Mercury and the Sun look like they themselves may be the only thing in line that day. I'm not finding too much of anything back here. just looks to me like it's too far to the left. I don't think that's aligned. And then when you come over and you you want to look at Jupiter and everything. It just doesn't look to me It doesn't look to me like Jupiter lines up. It looks like Jupiter is with Venus to me and Venus is not with Earth and Jupiter. So everything that I can tell it only looks to me like Mercury is the only other planet to line up with us that day. I'm not seeing Uranus. Now Saturn, if you take them out this far, it looks like they will, but I still think they're not. <clears throat> they don't look close enough to me that everything is lined up so you have to try and look at all different sources you know not only solarsystemscope.com or JPL or just one certain one you have to check everything that there is to see if they all coincide and what does the different how are they animating it what does the different animation look like and just from what I'm seeing this is what I this is what I saw and I wanted to show it you can come over here and look at your for your own self See what you think. And this is it right here. You just come over here and it's the uh, bottom one, or you can explore either one of these other missions here the Juno or the Grail. So that's what I wanted to show you was about that alignment. 
and let you know. I think we're going to be safe on that date. Unless between now and then we get huge CME blasted and the moon starts to look big and funny in its orbit during the lunar phases. Because Mar I, I specifically remember March 11th over to the northwest. That moon was huge that night when I came out to leave. That's the biggest moon. I don't. I can't help that we had a super moon after March 11th. From my vantage point and the location in the sky and the time at night and everything, 10 minutes till 12 when I got off work that night, that moon looked more huge than whenever we had that super moon after that. The super moon appeared in a different location in the sky and everything at this time that would have been the same. So if we get those two things, yeah, we could be rocking and rolling. And then if we've already had some earthquaking going on, you know, into the sixes, low sixes, that could aggravate something. We no longer have a common element that was lined up on certain alignments too. That has been removed. So unless there's a new element added to these alignments and whatnot, then that is something that's not present. That is something that cannot enhance it anymore. If it did play a part, it's supposedly been removed. But there would have to be something put in its place. And I know of nothing at this time that there is. So you all come and see what you think. Make your own mind up. Remember, there we are there. Mercury, Sun, and that goes right by there. So, there's going by Vesta out into here. Well, I just don't see it. I'll keep looking for it. But right now, I'm just not seeing the March 22nd thing. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be interested. Tell me if I've missed something. I'll look into it if I have. God bless. I'll talk to you soon.